Hello everybody, a Galaxy Jelly, and um, I haven't done one of these before, but this is a Minecraft update video for the new update that you should all be excited for. So before we um, jump to the video, I just kind of want to say there's something wrong with my microphone. If you haven't noticed, there's been parts of my videos where there's like the volume lowers drastically. I try to make it higher. You may hear some fuzz in the background in those chunks of videos. I just decided to not put on my microphone because um, I had to edit out parts where it went completely silent and then went back on. It was very weird. Sorry for the fuzzy noises. There's literally nothing I can do. Hopefully it'll be fixed in the next couple of weeks. I'm not doing a video next week. Week, so I hopefully it'll, everything will be sorted out by then. But anyways, guys, if you're in the fitness club, you now get a lemon. There was someone in my last video. They're like, I want a lemon though. I mean, I got a lime, but I also want a lemon. So I'm like, okay, you can have a lemon too. So you get a lemon if you're in the fitness club. And if you want to join the fitness club and get a lemon, then all you have to do is subscribe to the notifications. Then you're in the fitness club. It's very simple. Why wouldn't you want a lemon? I mean, it's delicious. It's, it's a delicious, yummy lemon. You have to eat it raw. You have to eat it in a sour state. And remember to like the video for like it. I put a lot of effort into the whole building for this thing and this whole spawn area and also remember to stay tuned for the end of the video to see who the featured comment is okay so some people might be confused they might be confused like i thought 1.14 was the bees and then just jumped to 1.16 what is going on so um just a little explanation to anyone who has not heard about it yet so basically 1.15 was sort of skipped, not really. Mo Mojang wanted to have all the platforms on 1.16, and 1.15 was planned to be a parody update between PC and Bedrock. Be Bedrock is a platform um, Pocket Edition is on. So basically, 1.15 just added some stuff that was previously not in Bedrock. So I hope that cleared that up. We're going over 1.15 and 1.16 feature. I built this whole pathway displaying literally everything. Well, pretty much everything. Everything, everything that I know of. <laughs> There's probably some random, really, really weird feature that I don't know of, but I did everything I can. So the first one that we're going over is colored beacons. Now you might be thinking, um, <laughs> beacons were already able to be colored. But now you can merge two colors to get a mergey color. So orange and yellow, orangey yellow, mac and cheese color. Another feature is bar lantern. Now some of you be like, wait, what? <laughs> this wasn't a thing, and it wasn't. And I know this because I've tried it before, and I was crying when it didn't happen. I was like, why? Why can't we put bars underneath the lanterns in bedrock? It makes no sense. Well, now you can, but there's literally no point of it doing now because there's a new feature back over there that we're going to be talking about. So, bars on lanterns, I mean, <laughs> if you want to. Next is new sounds. I'm not going to be displaying the sounds now, but I'll put in a little clip of me doing all the noises for these. There's probably a few other ones that I don't know of, but these were the ones that I noticed most. Okay, they, on PC, the coral makes a very fun, like, ooh, spongy noise. But on this one, it's still the bland stone sound effect. I don't know why. I was literally like, oh yeah, hopefully the the coral sound effect will be changed. And <laughs> no, it, it, no, no, it wasn't changed. It's still the same bland, boring stone Next up is curses. Yes, believe it or not, curses were not in bedrock. I know, it's crazy. I'll just do binding. I don't have levels, wait. <laughs> okay, I don't know how curses work. Oh, I can't curse something with curse of binding. Okay, well, curse of vanishing will work. So I have curse of vanishing on the sword. I'm gonna set my spawn here. When I die, when I slash kill, I'll lose all my stuff and the sword will go away. It no longer is in existence. Next is the border block. You can access these through um, commands slash give at s border underscore block. So these borders basically just work as a invisible wall except with these little particles. When you're in survival or adventure mode, you cannot walk over them while in creative, you actually can just walk over them. So this is kind of a very easy way to make a giant barrier block wall all the way up there. It goes underneath too. I think these are very handy for barrier blocks and mini games. I kind of wish these were here when I made a giant mini game, but they're here now. So 
Border blocks. Very cool, the new cool thing, very hip, yes. Next up is hose now can break things. They now have a purpose, they now have a purpose. Um, I'm sure there's other things than these, but these are all the ones I could remember at the moment. So if you get one and you break it, it should break faster because you're using the right tool to break it. Okay, so over here is the new decoration block. So there's a lot of new decoration blocks. They're very cute, very cool. I actually am a big fan of a lot of them. I'm this chiseled nether bricks, cracked nether bricks, quartz bricks, polished blackstone, polished blackstone bricks, chiseled polished blackstone, and cracked polished blackstone bricks. There's polished blackstone and, ch and then cracked. It's like, it's just putting them all together into one. But the polished blackstone has a slab variant and the polished blackstone bricks has a slab variant. That's a lot of blackstone bricks, polished slab, cracked, polished blah, blah, blah. There's also three new sets of pressure plates and buttons. There's a polished blackstone set. There's the warped wood set and there's the crimson wood set. The new target block is a block that sends out a redstone signal depending on how close you are to the bullseye. So if I hit this target block on the bullseye, then it should send out a message that says hi. So I think these are very useful if you want to do like a mini game where you have to get uh, a certain amount of bullseyes in a row. And also guys, look, if I shoot it anywhere that isn't in that red center area, then it doesn't go off. There are new trees. There are two new quote unquote trees. There's the giant warped fungi you can see some of the shroom light in there um and there's the giant crimson fungi i don't think those are the technical names for it but that's what i'm calling it because that makes sense <laughs> it's, it's what makes sense to me so these are some of the new blocks that generate naturally so this warped neelium blackstone soul soil basalt crimson neelium and nether gold ore and nether gold ore you can mine it with any pickaxe any pickaxe that includes wooden and it drops golden nuggets. No matter what, it drops golden nuggets unless you use silk touch, then you can smelt it and I think you get an ingot. This is actually very good if you wanna do like some trading, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I know most of you guys already probably know all that about that stuff, but still, if you wanna do some trading, these are very good. So you can just like hop on over, mine some gold, then go do some more trading. So meow, meow. I just made a little area for blackstone. Blackstone is a substitute for stone and also this blackstone slabs. So basically you can craft anything that's craftable with stone, also with blackstone. Let's say I want to craft a furnace in the nether, I'm like, oh no, I don't have any stone on me, but I do have blackstone. You can craft a furnace with blackstone. This goes for any stone tools, anything made out of stone, blackstone works with it. Polished basalt, it can be crafted with four basalts. This is, it's pretty much just the basic polished recipe. And also I built this tree with the blackstone because I thought it kind of looked like a tree trunk and I thought it looked cool. So I made a soul soil tree out of polished basalt. I know I'm very creative and cool. I, I don't know if anyone's ever done that, but I did. So you guys all saw the soul soil. Soul soil, you still go kind of slow on it, but a little less slow than soul sand. And when you put flint and steel on either one of these blocks, it will turn into blue fire. Woo! It's the hottest form of fire. Hotter than the sun, definitely. There are new soul stuff soul fire things so with the whole soul fire stuff they cra they made these new like soul lantern soul torch and soul campfire they're basically just the same recipes except soul sand it, or soul soil is added in next is the respawn anchor if any of you guys remember were from crying obsidian i was not there when crying obsidian was a thing cause i always played bedrock i always played on the ipad so you can now craft a respawn anchor with three glowstone and six crying obsidian. You can obtain crying obsidian from piglin bartering. We're going to talk about that later. And glowstone, you guys already know that. So the way this works is you can charge up the respawn anchor. And if you put... I don't know why I have this here. I don't know why I set up a whole thing. Why did I do that? I'm kind of dumb. But anyways, so you can charge it up and put four in... And basically, this does not work in the overworld. If I clicked on this right now, it literally explode. I'm kind of tempted to explode. I'm t I'm a little bit tempted to explode. For some reason, I, w I was kind of stupid. I was like, oh, let's make it show we die and we respawn right here. But I'm kind of dumb. This only works on the nether. But when you die, you'll respawn here. And the, gl the glowstone counter, which is now filled up with four, will go down by one. So you technically have four lives, but you can recharge it whenever you want with my glowstone, and I'm not gonna click on it because I don't want it to explode. And yeah, oh, I just clicked on it. I just clicked on it and I didn't even mean to. I just clicked on, I just clicked on the death. 
and I didn't even need to click on it. Okay, it's not that far. It's not that far. I did have a sign here saying um, it said trashy debris to cool new armor. So basically, so basically, when you have when you find four ancient debris, you can find these underground now in the Nether. They're very cool. They're extremely rare. I think they only pop up in veins of one or two. They look like this. If you mine four of them, you, well, you can you can you don't really need to mine four to smelt it, but um, you, you mine four of them, you smelt them, and then they give you netherite scrap. And then you're like, oh, ho, ho, what do I do with this to get to netherite ingots? Well, you basically combine it with four gold. Once you combine the netherite scrap with four golden ingots, four beautiful golden ingots, you get a netherite ingot. You might be thinking, wait, what? That's that's literally the most impossible thing. This armor must be literally amazing. Even four for boots are crazy, but actually, that's not how it works. <laughs> it works more as you upgrade it in a smithing table. The smithing table per for this actually had no purpose, so it's cool. They now have a purpose, and hopefully, maybe there'll be some new upgrades after this. So basically, you just put one thing that isn't netherite, and then you put an uh, ingot in, and then it turns into netherite. It only will need one to upgrade, and also any enchants that were previously on the on the tool or armor will say will be saved and won't be erased. And also, you can craft netherite blocks, which use nine, and not it's not like a diamond block plus another ingot. It's literally nine netherite, and you can make a beacon with these. Yes, there's the armor, and here's all the tools. So next is all the new wood. There's a lot of new stuff when it comes to the new wood. So there's a new crimson wood, there's a crimson stem, which is the tree form of this. There's the warped wood, the warped stem, the crimson door, the warped door, the crimson trap door, the warped trap door, the crimson fence, the warped trap fence, the crimson fence gate, the warped fence gate, the crimson stair, the warped stair, the crimson slab, the warped slab, the warped stripped wood, the <laughs> the crimson stripped wood, the warped stri stripped wood except all the bark is on the sides, the crimson stripped wood except the bark is on the sides, crimson wood but bark's on sides, warped wood except bark is on sides, crimson sign, warped sign, that was a mouthful. Next is the chain block, you can connect it to lanterns, that's pretty much its sole, get it, sole purpose, um, but you can do other things with it, but that's pretty much its main purpose. <laughs> Next is the shroom light. This is just pretty much, it does literally nothing. It's just decoration to make the trees light up in the nether. It just adds some bling, some light, and it's kind of pretty, it's, you know. Uh, next is the nether plants. There's a lot of stuff here. This side's for warp stuff, this side's for crimson stuff. There's a weeping vine, um, which spawn on the ground. There's warped roots, which act as flowers, so you can pick them up and put them in flower pots. There's netherite sprouts, which you can't pick up. And there's also uh, warped fungus. So warped fungus, the two fungi, work as saplings, if any guys didn't know. The normal red mushroom and brown mushroom, when you put a uh, bone meal on those, they grow into giant mushroom trees. So basically, it's kind of the same thing here. When you bone meal this, it grows into a giant red tree. When you bone meal this, it turns into a giant blue tree. Um, over here, there's the twisted vine. I was about, I think, I don't think they're, it's actually called a weeping vine. I think I have the names wrong. I think I have the names wrong. Wait, okay. This one's the twisting vine. This one's the weeping vine. I mix match the names. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the confusion. I twi I mismatched the names. Here's the crimson roots. The crimson doesn't have a grass form. It only has the roots. And then here's the crimson fungus. I uh, know it's fungi. And the last thing here I want to talk about is when you bone meal a block that is adjacent to a block with one of the neelium on it, it turns into the corresponding neelium. Yeah, since it's next to the red, I bone meal next to it and it grows over. Oh, what's going on there? You'll see in a couple minutes. There's a new banner pattern. You can find this in Piglum Bastion. Wait, what? What are you talking about? What's Piglum Bastion? For now, shush. We wait until the end. I have all the exciting stuff at the end. So it's just a snout. It's called snout. It looks like a snout. It is a snout. And this is the new banner powder pattern. I don't know what it can be used for. It's kind of weird. So there's a Peppa Pig. <gasps> you can make a Peppa Pig banner. <gasps> you can make a Peppa Pig banner. Oh my god. I want to do that. I want to do that. I want to I wanna make a Peppa Pig banner. Next, this one's kind of random. If you have a shulker box that's died um, and, you and you click on a cauldron with water in it, it will turn 
turn into the normal colored chunkler box. What was this one? What was this one? Oh, 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 I didn't set up anything for this one. I just was like, hey, you do it yourself, bro. So basically, there's a new block, guys. So previously, um, if you had a compass in the nether, it'd just go waka 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 but now, who you can fix that if you get eight chiseled stone bricks and one nether ingot, you can craft it into a lodestone. Every time I hear the word lodestone, I think of the dragon veil dragon. I know, I know, I know. That was the yellow one, right? The yellow one with the spikes. I think I'll have to fact check that. And then if you click on it with a compass, the compass turns into a lodestone compass, which follows the lodestone and is attracted to the lodestone magnetically. It follows it, and now you can have compasses in the nether and not lose your home 24-7. Over here, there's new blackstone wall variants and stairs. There's blackstone wall, blackstone stair, polished blackstone stair, polished blackstone wall, blackstone brick stairs, and blackstone brick wall. And also, speaking of walls, bye-bye barf walls! Woohoo! Previously, walls had little Ugh, gaps in them but now they actually look nice they look like an actual wall and they're not like g gross and gappy so bye bye barf walls bye 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 barf walls <laughs> next is the gilded blackstone it's kind of random <laughs> you can't really do that much with it i think i'm pretty sure there's a 10 percent chance that mining will drop golden ingot so there's pretty much no feature with this at all except it's pretty yeah cool gold black thing. So over here is the new song Pig Step by Lena Rain. It is not by C418. And a lot of people were angry like, dude, um, <laughs> why did you get rid of C418? Um, this is different. I don't like it. But I actually very much like it. I think it's very good music and I think Lena Rain did a very good job. Sadly, I can't really um, have my audio up while well, recording, so it messes it up. So I'm gonna, this is gonna be a quick little montage with me going over the new emotes while listening to Pig Step. So, yeah! Let's cue the montage! Okay, you just finished watching me um, dance in front of a crowd of pigmen. Um, <laughs> let's head on over to the nether. The, I was waiting for the end to go here. <laughs> the end? No, this isn't the end. This is the nether. Ha ha ha, funny, funny, meme, meme. Okay, I was waiting for the end. I was trying to do as le the, le the least amount of stuff in the nether because I didn't want to go back and forward. <laughs> I didn't want to go back and forward. Uh, and then I realized um, there were some features that I, ha I forgot to do outside. There were like two more features. So I, I kind of had to do a little bit of back and forwarding, but it's okay. Okay, so here is the warped forest it's a very cool biome i kind of very badly like it i kind of very badly like it <laughs> it's cool it's cute it's blue it's blue raspberry forest i like it a lot i like all the particles you can see all the mushrooms and it's just it's very calm endermen spawn in this biome it's mostly peaceful except for endermen I have a house that I'm building in this biome, um, in a survival world I'm trying to do where I'm starting here. And there are endermen, like, knocking at my door 24-7. It's kind of terrifying because I can't look at them, but it's okay, it's okay. The next biome is my absolute favorite biome. It is the nether wastes. It is my favorite biome. I love how detailed and beautiful it is. It's like, it's so pretty and immersive, you know? Like, look at the fire, look at the 
fog. It's so beautiful. Look at the unloaded chunks. Beautiful, beautiful. And it's a very pretty biome. It's totally my favorite. Definitely, definitely 100% my favorite. I definitely don't like the forest better than this. And that's it. <laughs> this biome was previously just what the nether used to be. They renamed it. They kept it. They didn't get rid of it forever. We still want our nostalgic, terrible biome. So they kept it and renamed it the nether wastes. And one of the new songs, I forgot what it's called, uh, but one of the new background musics plays here. It's a very cool one. It's very cool one. It's a cool little loud noise, and then it calms down. It builds up to one loud noise, and it calms down. That That's my description of the song. The next biome is an even cooler one. It's the Basalt Deltas. They're very cool. They have a lot of spiky spikes of basalt. It's like, it's supposed to be a... Uh, Volcan the remnants of a volcanic eruption, and I think they did a good job of that. I like the lava pools everywhere and the magma around it. And actually, there is a new song that plays here. It's I forgot what it's called again, but it also plays in the Soul Sand Valley. I think it matches up more with the Soul Sand Valley than this one because it has like a whole like it sounds like at one part it sounds like souls are speaking to you. I know that's kind of weird, but but I think it more likely fits the Soul Sand Valley, but it plays here as well. This is the Basalt Deltas. There's a lot of particles. RIP video compression. The next biome is the Crimson Forest. This one is a very cool one. This one is like literally, whoa, whoa, whoa. This might be my favorite. This might be my favorite. It's a lot more cool when you go under, when you like stand on the ground and you fly up, you just like, you see the trees and the hoglins and it's like, oh, whoa, it's a red forest. It's danger, danger forest, danger forest here. It's very cool. There are more little particles. I like, um, in this, there's a song for this one. It's, I think it's my favorite one. It, it just feels like very immersive, the song. It makes me really feel like I'm in the biome. It has like these little ring bell things, and I like to think those are like the noises the shroom lights make or something. So, it, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, also, I like how when you break the wood and stuff in this, it makes like a weird little like veiny noise, like when you go in the wood, and, and like, I don't know, there's just like a weird little like buzzing noise. And it's, I like that. I like it. It's kind of like because like there's like these weird veins on them. I don't know. I like it. And while we're in the crimson forest, here's a thing. So basically, there are two new mobs that we're going to talk about right now. There's the piglin. And piglin are terrified of warped fungi, but because it's in its cage, you can't really tell. But they're terrified of warped fungi. It scares them half to death. They're, it's their mortal enemy, and I'm kind of trapping this guy with his mortal enemy. He has nowhere to go, but it's their mortal enemy. On the um, series I watched, it seems that it doesn't always work, but I feel like P.E., Bedrock Edition is more, it, I feel like it's more responsive with all this aggression and stuff. Next up is the piglins. You guys all remember these boys. I, I talked about them, I talked about them like a couple minutes ago. So basically, these guys are very angry. When you first go into the nether, and if you don't have any gold armor on, they're going to attack you. But if you put on gold armor, it's like, oh, we're best friends now. You're one of us with your gold armor. They will not kill you when you have gold armor. If you have gold armor on and you open any chest, any chest, not including a hopper, they don't understand hoppers. If you open any chest, even if not even if it's in a bastion, they get angry and they kill you. And also, they do also get angry when you mine nether gold ore or any gold ore. Also, they try to attack these piglins. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. I've seen them do it. They just, like, take a while to do it. I don't know why. Maybe it, it's supposed to be so, like, they can get food. So I'm guessing it's not, like, 24-7 that they hunt them. And also, I was trying to run a test here. I don't think it's going to work out, like, right now. I have a video of it, so if it doesn't work out right now, then I'll just play the video. So basically, piglins, they'll attack hoglins. And there's just tiny percentage of a chance that they'll do a little dance where they do a T pose and bob their heads up and down like a bird. So there's a chance I do that. I have a video of it. It's not, I have it where they're facing backwards and I kind of record it like last minute, but it's okay. I'll show that if, I'll, I'll show that right now. Wait. Uh, piglins also have another feature. If you throw gold ingots at them, you can barter with them. That Yes, they can barter. You heard that correctly. It's not there's a currency. It's that they barter. 
Okay, why aren't you picking it up? Do you not want the gold? Do I have to be in survival? Why is there a button for barter? I thought it was just that you threw it on the ground. Oh, and also has it open. I don't know why it says open. I think that's just a glitch. Oh, I didn't know that you had there was a new barter button. I did not see that. I previously I was just throwing at the ground at them. See, you get a lot of cool loot. I don't really know everything that you get, but I know that you can get ender pearl and you can get string and all the stuff in my inventory right now. You can get some things that are not really obtainable in the nether. Yeah, and oh, you get crying obsidian too. That's how you get crying obsidian. This is how you get crying obsidian. And one final thing with the piglins. They're very, they're very interesting creatures. They have a lot of cool mechanics. Very cool, very cool. Um, wither skeletons are their mortal enemy. They will fight them no matter what. Even if they have to die for it, they will fight. So the next biome is the rarest of them all. It's the rarest biome. It's gonna take a while to load because I have to go searching for a while for it. But it's the Soul Sand Valley. It was the first to be shown in the preview for the nether update and it's one of the coolest i think it's not my favorite but it's one of the coolest totally so those basalt scalactites coming down from the ceiling there's blue fire everywhere it's very hard to travel across because all the soul sand and you might want the new enchantment for it soul speed i kind of forgot to make a thing for this i know i'm kind of an idiot there's the piglin i'll talk about it right now soul speed is an enchantment that you can get from uh chests and bastions and trading with piglins you can get boots with them you chant them on boots and with them you can go speed speed on soul sand i have to do this in a day i'm sorry if i mess up some things i'm trying my best out here guys so soul speed it makes you walk fast on soul sand like look i'm going off fasty and it makes all these cool little soul particles come up it's very cool and look i'm guys I, I speed on the soul soil i speed i am speed it works on soul soil and soul sand there are new bone structures in this biome so yeah the soul sand valley it's a very cool biome it's n not fun when you don't have soul speed but when you have soul speed it's like view view i am sonic speed yeah Get soul speed if you live in a soul sand valley. If not, maybe make a cool pathway with it. I don't know. When I was watching videos of people doing it, I was like, this is not that fast, bro. But now looking at it myself, I'm like, okay, this is fast, bro. Okay, so what I had planned next is all the way over here. Okay, so the new mob. Oh, another new mob. Oh, the new mob. You're acting like there's only one new mob. There's like five. But there's a new creature called the Strider. You can saddle them, and then you can ride them, and you can guide them. You can saddle them, ride them, and guide them. And you can boost to go sonic speed, too. Um, and they pretty much just make you travel across lava. You can walk on lava now. You can be a f you can ride the strider. And also, there's a chance for a zombie pigman to spawn on top of one of these, and I'll already have a saddle equipped, if that's the case. So, free saddle! Free saddle, guys! Woohoo! Woohoo! They get cold on land, and they get cold and purple, and it's really sad. But when they go back in the lava, they get all red and f yes and happy. And also, you can kill them for string, but the, the, you don't have to kill them for string. You can alternatively get it from the piglins! Over here! While I was searching for the bastion, I also discovered a new, the new ruined portal! Uh, I had to dig out some of the stuff to fully showcase this one. Ruin portals also spawn in on the overworld. They're basically just ruin portals. It's exactly what it is. They can be huge. They can be tiny. This is a tiny one. And they come with gold blocks and chests filled with equipment to, you know, set up the nether portal. Sometimes they have obsidian. Sometimes I don't. This one came with nice... Oh, look, nine iron nuggets. Iron nuggets are a very valuable resource when you're trying to go only in the nether, so... And I'm pretty sure this is the final thing that we have to go over here. It's the most interesting. You can see it's on my map. It's the most cool. It's the most interesting. And it's the Piglin Bastion. I know. It's very cool. And this one's in a cave, so you can't see the cool skull. But that's okay. And I always think that this is high. I always think it's, it's like an H and this is high. But yeah. There's three different types of generations for these. This one that's just a jumble of junk. There's one that's like a giant bridge and a skull. If you if I cleared this out, there'd be like a skull. Cool. I don't know if it's intended to be a skull, but it looks like one. Yeah, there's this little monument thing outside. But if you remember, if you mine gold blocks in your pig one, they go, they go angy. So the bastions generate with big loot loot and stuff in the chest they can have netherite scraps lodestone the new pig step and the new thing just a lot of cool stuff a lot of cool stuff oh i never, i don't think i found this room um yeah just a lot of cool stuff <sighs> one of the ways i'd suggest to get 
the stuff without the piglins literally attacking you for opening a chest is to bring along a hopper and put it underneath the chest like just place a hopper hopper over here and the stuff will all go into the hopper and then you can open up the hopper and safely get your loot the treasure room one i don't did i talk about the treasure room or did i just like forget about it the third one is a giant treasure room one with like these little like pens of lava it's very cool and then there's like a giant drop down with like bridges and stuff and this giant treasure room in the middle and magma cube spawners that that one's personally my favorite it's very cool i love that one so let's go back to the overworld and let's test out the final two features the final two load please i want to go home thank you ty ty i want to go home yes i made notes for myself with signs everywhere i know you might have seen some of them so let's go back to overworld let's go through the portal the other way and there's literally just two cages and a smiley face. So basically, pi zombie pigmen, they've been retextured into a cooler texture with ears. And they're very, they're a lot less, Ugh. they're more, ooh, ooh. And zombie pigmen are the result of a piglin going into the normal world. They turn to zombie pigmen. Zombie pigmen also just spawn in the nether sometimes. The normal pigmen are afraid of them. And they only hurt you if you punch them. They, you cannot wear gold and you'll be fine. And then this is the Zoglin. <laughs> its sound effects are like not working, and it it's it, I like how it's like fur is like on the side, like it's like dying. It looks like death. This is the Zoglin. You can see its ribs. It's very fun. Um, its sound effects are just pigs right now. Actually, that might have changed. They are basically just the result of a Hoglin wandering into the overworld. Their Hoglins are actually scared of the Nether portal, so you'd have to get a Zoglin if you purposely put them here. And Zoglins literally attack everything. There's no creature in the game that they do not attack. They'll literally hurt everything. Oh, <gasps> you know what'd be cool if someone set up like a Zoglin versus the Wither or Ender Dragon. I want. I want to see that. I want to see that. But guys, that's pretty much it. That's pretty pretty much it for this entire update. I know, I know. But anyways, guys, let's see who the featured comment is. It's one of my soul speed. So the featured comment is in this video is from the video Crazy McDonald's Horror Map and the I'm mainly featuring this comment based on the reply, but the main comment is from Skylar Dragon 1201 They said, a few minutes ago, I legit got McDonald's to eat. And the reply was by Faith, Faith Valka, I think I'm pronouncing that right. Um, they said, next time I go, go to McDonald's, I'll come prepared, just in case Ronald comes, and I'll punch him a thousand times. Smiley face! And if that's not enough, I'll kill Ronald! If I don't get a heart attack, shock face, shock face, shock face! So if you want your comments to be featured, all you have to do is comment, and I'll feature my favorite comments! Woo! Thank you so much, future me. You better be done with this video by now, because it has to come out by Saturday. Don't be a slacker. Edit. Don't be a slacker. Edit. And so, guys. So. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And remember to stay healthy. And one way to stay healthy is to please not get mad at me for my audio being very fuzzy. I'm sorry. I have literally no choice. I Would you rather me cut out every two seconds? Okay. That was kind of a rant. But, yeah. Um, stay healthy, guys. I don't know. People are probably thinking I'm saying that because of what's going on in the world right now. No, I've been saying stay healthy for, like, years now. But, yeah. Okay. Bye, guys. Thank you.